When the former chairman of the Dingxing International Group was ordered to remain in custody early Friday, one reason was the discovery of an official government document at a Dingxing office that was not supposed to be there. Today, it emerged that the source of the leak was an official at the Pingdong Public Health Bureau who claims to have mistakenly faxed it. After two weeks in detention and an indictment following Dingxing's latest cooking oil scandal, Disgraced tycoon Weying Chong will remain in custody. He met with his lawyers today who have not ruled out an appeal against the detention, but are not optimistic. Based on the current mood, the chances of bail are slim to none. Another problem for the defense is that much of what it learns comes from either the media or arguments presented by the prosecution. In yesterday's detention hearings, the prosecution made a surprise announcement. When it searched the Wei Chuan corporate headquarters on October 16th, it found an official document that the Ministry of Health and Welfare had delivered to Zhanghua prosecutors and the Pingdong Public Health Bureau on October 9th. Included was a report stating that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed that oil imported from Vietnam by Dingxin was only suitable for animal feed production. The Food and Drug Administration did not release this information until two days later. At the time, I needed to send some forms to Dingxing that were related to the Vietnam oil factory. For several days, I have been working late. I printed these materials out and then carelessly sent the official documents out with the forms. The Pingdong County government insists the documents were not confidential. But prosecutors there have already called Health Bureau official Tai Jingrong in for questioning on suspicion of leaking information related to a criminal case.